It's England's front line with the North Sea, and the future of this seaside community is hanging by a thread. The shoreline fast losing a battle with the elements. Two years ago, the coastline was slowly retreating. Then, in March, a storm snatched a large section of the dunes. Strong waves hammering the shore, forcing seafront residents to flee. Authorities declared five homes so unsafe they had to be demolished. People who've lost their homes have lost everything, so they're in bits. The people who are living behind them, watching it happen to their neighbours and friends, they know that's their future unless something's done. Now those people are adapting to life on this road to nowhere. It's fallen down through here, as you can see. With infrastructure damaged and unstable ground, anyone living near the beach is worried. The accelerated pace of this erosion is terrifying people here. In the last two years, several homes along here have been lost. This access road has collapsed, leaving other properties cut off and even more at serious risk. Kevin Jordan had hoped to enjoy a quiet retirement by the sea, but he's quite literally living on the edge and he can no longer count on basic services. When I moved in about 12 years ago, I was told by experts that we had about 100 years here. I don't think they took climate change into consideration then. Lance Martin was also shaken from his dream of seafront life. In two years, the sea crept in from here to here, leaving his home on the brink of collapse. Oh, look at that. Determined to cling on, Lance dragged his house to safety. What we've managed to do with the help of the good people of Hemsby and a lot of good tradespeople is managed to pull it forward three metres from the, uh, from the edge of the dune, therefore saving the collapse and saving my house. It's not over yet. He has to roll the house further back. But Lance has bought himself time and given others hope. The local authority is now hastily moving heavy rocks onto a section of beach, forming a short barrier to shore up the damaged road. And the current plan is to put the rocks that you've just seen in the car park along the bottom here. Campaigners say much more will be needed. But it's 5% of our target area, nowhere near enough. It's going to protect a small area of road for a short time. But if it's not completed all the way along, then it won't do what we need. There is a permit now to build a longer sea barrier, but coastal protection is costly and funding is another hurdle. And while erosion is part of history here, predicted sea level rise is adding urgency to the current crisis. Higher, stronger tides, it's the sand being washed away. It's a cumulative effect. As the sand is gone, there's less and less and less to protect the village. So these things are going to accelerate. The disruption is also damaging the tourist trade the village depends on. As the season approaches, the beach is closed off, the lifeboat service unable to launch. And while Hemsby is set on defying the odds, it's unlikely every home here can be saved. Kitty Logan, CDTN, on the Norfolk coast.